everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Linux Guy. Today is a video to just explain something for people who are new to Linux. What is ProtonDB? You'll hear about this a lot if you're going to play games on Linux. So ProtonDB is basically something that was made by the gaming community on Linux for Steam. Now Steam has this compatibility layer called Steam Proton and if you don't know what it is, Steam Proton lets you install Windows only games on a Linux computer. Now it installs them through the Wine compatibility layer, but it's modified Wine and it gets Wine out of the way. If you want to see more about Wine, I have another video that explains Wine, but when you're using the Steam client, it will use Proton to install using Wine, but basically it will do all the dirty work for you and all the configuration for you. Now I want to talk a little bit about ProtonDB because when a lot of people go into their Steam client, they'll install stuff with Steam Proton and expect things to work. Now a lot of times they will, especially if they're supported games for Steam, those should pretty much just work. Steam Proton is not perfect though, and that is why ProtonDB exists. You see I've got it up here, so let's go to ProtonDB. Basically ProtonDB is a community that tells you all about the games and how they work on the system. So sometimes you can't get your game work, so sometimes you can't get your game to work in Linux when it's a Proton game, because you're using it on all titles instead of just the supported titles and you're like I don't know why it won't work it seems like I don't know such a simple game maybe it's like a 2d adventure game or something and you're like why wouldn't this work this seems like wine should be powerful enough to handle this well in all likelihood it is so ProtonDB is here to help you because sometimes all you gotta do is add some little text to make things work so let's like look at No Man's Sky here you'll see there's all sorts of stuff being updated there's a community around it telling you things where there's problems and reporting not only what's wrong but then how to fix them if they are. You'll also see up at the top, and this is probably the coolest part, No Man's Sky for example has a gold rating. They go ahead and rate all of the titles that are on here and tell you how they work. So this can be really useful if you're say interested in buying a game, you want to play it on Linux, but there is no Linux version. You can come here to ProtonDB, see what the rating is, see what the comments are, what you may have to do to get it working, and make your determination of if you're going to buy it based on that. Now a lot of people know about Steam Proton, but I think ProtonDB is not really explained a whole lot. Some people may say, hey, go look at ProtonDB, and not giving you an explanation of what it is. So this is just a quick explanation of what ProtonDB is and where you can find it. It's just ProtonDB.com. So next time you're trying to install your Steam games, and those of you who are interested in switching to Linux but you're all concerned about your Steam library, make sure to check out ProtonDB and see what works. Some stuff will just work. See what stuff maybe with a few little tweaks can work because most of the time the tweaks are very minor. They're, they're not something very hard. And the community will tell you exactly how to do it. They'll give you an explanation of what you need to do to go in and fix the problem. As always, thank you for watching The Linux Guy. Make sure to follow us on Library and BitChute. If you're on YouTube, you're getting your videos a day later because I'm really trying to push the platforms Library and BitChute. And if you're on Library, if you feel so inclined to give me a tip, it would be much appreciated. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.